Hi. I'm going to try to explain the details between the different light systems that we are offering through our carbon pools. The first one is the star bright light, which is a return light. It goes in through the return of the pool. So you hook the hose back up, water flows through. It's similar to a lot of the other lighting systems we've used in the past. Um, doesn't require any cutting or anything, any additional holes in the pool. Um, the light is multicolored. It comes with a remote. It can be synced with the other colored products or it can be run independently if we run on a non-carbon pool. So this is kind of a universal light, um, but it also works with the other carbon products. The next one we have is the um, star glow light system, which is a light system that connects to the uprights of the pool. So each upright has a recess in it, and in the recess, um, this light can connect in at the top of the top rail. It snaps in, it's all made, ready to go. And then it daisy chains by having a male ended hose, uh, wire and then a female ended wire on, on opposite ends. So if you want to connect to multiple lights, you can buy multiple lights and you can do as many as there are top rails on the pool. So you just connect one to the next one and just go all the way around the pool. And at the end, or if you only decide to use two, you have to have one of these transformer power systems, which has a cord, comes with a remote, and um, that does not, so, so basically we sell that as a kit with, I think we usually just um, try to sell two lights and a power cord. The other thing you have to factor in is, is that this only goes as far as about six feet, that's what one of these are. So if you wanted to put these lights on the opposite end of the pool from where the power cord is going to be, you have to buy one of these 50 foot extensions. So you connect the first light to this, and then you can, and in each top rail underneath it, you'll see there's like a, cl a clamp that clamps onto it so you don't see the wire going around the side of the pool. And then you connect the other end to the power cord. So again, as many lights as you want, but if you're only gonna run one or two, you would need one of these long wires in order to run them from a distance. So that's, these are the two um, basic versions of the lighting system. And then we get into, this is the Starjet uh, waterfall system. And some of the things, well, I'll just get into how it works and then I'll go over the other things that work in, uh, in conjunction with the other systems. Uh, so when you open this up, it's got a whole bunch of, it's got everything you need, except you're going to need a diverter to be able to either change the water flow from the return to the waterfall or vice versa, or a little bit of both. I'll get into how the diverter works after I explain the actual light system. So in the box, it comes with two waterfall top uh, caps. These go where the these go where the, um, where the top cap of the pool is. Again, you can put this wherever you want. Um, as, as long as there's a top cap, it could be on the opposite side of the pool. This system does come with a 50-foot cord, so you don't need to buy a 50-foot cord. Uh, again, I don't want to go back and forth, but there's benefits of buying this system before you buy this system or with this system, because if you buy the system and you have the 50-foot cord, you don't have to buy the 50-foot cord for this. The other thing is, is if you buy this system, you don't have to buy the transformer because it comes with the transformer. So you buy this system and you want to put lights on the top rail with the star glow lights, you only need to buy the star glow lights. All right, so the top caps come in a box like this and they come with two top caps. One is for an oval, and one is for a round pool. Right now we only sell round pools, so you're only gonna need the round pool top cap. The oval one, just discard it. So, um, the instructions will show you how to install it. I'll just kind of do a quick uh, overview of it, but you'll put this on, you'll run this, Lighting just like you ran with the uh, with the star glow lights, 
you'll daisy chain it and connect it to the cord and then the cord will eventually connect to the power box. You'll see um, there's a little screw on there and then there's a, a nozzle right here which connects to the actual waterfall. Um, once you put all this together, actually before you screw it in, you're going to want to take, you're going to take a piece of this hose and you're going to snap it into that. And you'll see in the instructions again, that there's, we have a, a, there's a YouTube video that goes over this in detail, but you're going to want to cut a shorter piece of this and then you're going to connect that shorter piece to this shutoff valve. And then on the other end of the shutoff valve, you'll connect a longer piece that will eventually go to the manifold where you're, where you're going to connect it to the actual pool. So again, a oh, quick overview. This will all snap together, you put that onto here, and um, when I get to the manifold, I'll explain that. Um, one thing I will tell you, because I learned this from installing it, when you snap this hose into, into, the, into this recess or into any of the connections, you have to push really hard. I mean, you'll feel it kind of click in. And if you keep on pushing, you'll feel it clicking again, and then that's when you know it's all the way in. Uh, so that kind of covers that. I guess I, I, it covers that, that part of it. So I will get into the, the manifold. What you'll need to do with this system once you run the hose to this shutoff valve on both waterfalls, plenty of hose, once you're running the thing across the other side of the pool. Um, once you have the hose connected to the shutoff valve, the remainder of the hose is going to need to go to a manifold, which this is the part that comes with the box. This is what the manifold is. Um, these little nuts go in here. There's four of them. You can actually have up to four waterfalls. The only box only comes with two. But if you want to buy a second box, you can connect two um, if you don't. Uh, or even if you only want to connect one, it comes with uh, a little plug, so you can just plug the other three or the other two and then just run the, run the, the two. So you'll put these in here, and again, you'll eventually hook the hose up. There's, I don't want to actually do it because it's, once it snaps in, it's, it's kind of permanent. Um, and once you connect the hose, you know, that, that's where it's connected, but before you do that, you need to put this manifold in. Now, we carry cartridge filters and sand filters. Both of them have a port that goes back to the pool that has a three inch, or I'm sorry, has an inch and a half threaded mail end. So, what we have had to do is create a uh, piece, a couple of pieces to make this work. So, it, it, it's not going to look like a, a pre boxed uh, set. It's something that we actually handmade and we're kind of putting it in with the kit. When you buy it as a kit, so it's two it's two feet. I'm sorry, it's two male ends. This end will thread in. Let's say you're using the cartridge, the uh, simple clean cartridge system. It'll thread into the port that normally goes back to the pool. You'll glue this with with the uh, regular uh, PVC glue, and you'll glue the other end, and then this will connect to this multi-port valve, three-way valve. Then you will glue, and, and, and you'll determine by the amount of room you have to do this, whether you want to glue this, you, you know, in some cases, because it's low to the ground, you might want to make sure you glue this part in before you glue this part in because you can't spin it when you're spinning it in. So once you spin this in, you glue this part. Um, I, don't, I don't think it matters on this particular diverter valve. I'm sorry, you thread it in on this side. Um, this diverter valve spins all the way around so as long as you can lock it so that two ports are open at one time and then the third side gets a mail adapter which connects back to the hose that was originally going from the filter to the pool so then you'll connect the hose with a clamp right here and this piece you'll glue that actual manifold on that was connected to the star jet light so if this is all done and complete, again, we've got hopefully further instructions and you know you can contact us if we have if you have any questions. This three-way valve will either allow you to flow water to both of these ports 
so that your waterfall is shooting a little bit and your return sh returning water a little bit. Or you can shut off this port, which would have gone back to the return, and then your waterfall will shoot further out into the pool. And or you can shut off the waterfall and you'll have no waterfall and the water will flow strictly into the pool. Um, there are, again, the, that diverter or that on-off switch that you connected to the, to the uh, hose earlier, it can also be adjusted because you're going to find that sometimes one is shooting further than the other, so you can kind of close that knob so they both shoot at the same flow. It looks more even that way. So that is, that is all that we have here. We do have another product that is coming in. I, I'm, unfortunately, this is the best I could do which this is the Starfall waterfall. I don't, hopefully you can see that. Um, this is a top cap, or a top rail rather, and it works just like the Starjet, the same thing with the manifold and everything. It does not come with the power box, so it's similar to Starglow Lane. The only system that comes with the power box is the Starjet system. So. If you buy the Starjet system and you buy the light, you don't need to buy the transformer. If you buy the Starjet system and you buy this Starfall system, you also don't have to buy the power box. So this is probably your best way to, if you want to buy everything, you're going to have to, you'll buy less parts. You'll have some of the parts you need for the other items included in this system. So. This system, again, we should be getting these in relatively soon. It is, uh, it is going to run the waterfall similar to the Starjet. You can divert it to let more or less water flow. The light's going to sink. Again, I said it earlier on with the um, Starbright system. All of these lights can sink. They, come with, they all come with remotes. You're only going to need one of them, but you know, either way, if you have one of the remotes, there's a, you know, a code that you'll have to do to, to, to sync them, but they can all be synced so that the lights will run the same colors at the same times and however whatever pattern you want to use. I think that's everything. So if you need any other things, give us give us a call.